so what are we doing? We are going to cut some of our lettuce. Um, as John has shown in some of the videos, our lettuce finally has taken off. Um, these, this is romaine lettuce, and so if I, if these were thinned out to the proper spacing, you would, they would become like the heads of romaine lettuce, like you see in the grocery store. Um, it's not really a head, but anyway, you know what a head of romaine lettuce looks like. Um, but leaving them as closely spaced as they are, they're not going to make those big heads. So, um... We're going to thin them out a little bit and we're going to eat those baby greens for salad this week. So I've already cut a few. I'm trying to leave like, oh, probably those need thinned out too, but I'm trying to leave some spacing because we can't eat that much salad this week. <laughs> but some of these bigger ones we might leave for them to become full heads of lettuce. But the baby greens are good. They're healthy and nutritious too. So I'm just going to cut a few more. I've already gotten uh, some in the bowl, but... We'll, uh, we'll cut a few more here, like maybe these guys right here. And I'm just cutting them off at the bottom. Um, you know, there are some, I've heard some things about like cut and come again growing of lettuces. I don't know if these will grow back at all, but we'll see. If they do, we'll let you know. Um, but for now, we're just going to cut off some of these baby greens and eat lettuces or uh, eat salads this week. But might cut a few more over here like this guy okay i don't know how much lettuce we can eat this way <laughs> How much more I'm gonna cut? But well, we'll get a couple. Maybe. Hopefully, it's good. Yep, I think it will be. Nice All big right. green salad. There you go. All right, so we cut all of the lettuce off that I'm gonna have for at least the next few days, and we're gonna kind of trim it up and clean it now, and just sort through it and and pull out any leaves that are uh, just. Some of them have like bug bites and stuff in them. So we're going to probably throw those away. I'm not going to eat those. But so John's going to video that for a little bit. And let's see. We're going to probably just cut these off right here. That's my trash bowl. And these all look pretty good. So just rinse them off. Shake them off and set them over here to dry a little bit. So we are, um, to store it, I'll probably, that might just make one lunch salad. <laughs> so I, after I cut it all up and everything, I realized I probably should have cut a little bit more. It wasn't quite as much as I thought, but that's okay. I can get some more tomorrow. Um, but just to store it until I make my lunch in the morning, I'm going to uh, put a paper towel in the gallon size bag and that just helps uh, absorb excess moisture. How stick it in the bag. It's not gonna lay completely flat, but and then I will get the lettuce. Bring it over 
over here. And we're just gonna put that in there. I kind of tried to fluff it and dry it a little bit. Cause you, a little moisture is okay, but too much will make it all gross and wilty kind of, so. But that's the purpose of putting the paper towel in the bag is to help absorb moisture while it's sitting in the refrigerator. And you do need to refrigerate lettuce if you don't know that already, even the lettuce that you grow in your yard. Uh, lettuce won't keep unless it's cold. And like I said, this will probably get eaten within the next day or two, so I'm not too worried about keeping it very long. go. There you go. It's a bag of lettuce ready to store in the refrigerator. Yay for baby greens for salads.